Hey, Jeremy Bates here, Buffalo Modular Homes, and I wanted to shoot a quick video to answer some questions about what can I expect in terms of cleanliness in my house when I uh, receive my Buffalo Modular Home. And uh, when we complete the home, after construction, we hire a professional cleaning company to come through and do a, a professional construction clean. Okay, and that's how we, you know, that's how we complete the home, hand that over to you. Sometimes uh, the outside might get a bit muddy as well from excavation and uh, site works. And we'll, uh, usually we'll uh, power wash that down for you as well. So the, you know, the outside of the house is is clean from, from mud and debris. If if any has, um, has splattered up on the sides of the house at all, you know, on the siding. And so, but inside, that's going to that's gonna have a professional construction clean. Um, now, that's not going to be a fine clean. So, you're not going to be uh, necessarily wanting to, um, y you know, cut bread on the kitchen counter necessarily. Uh, but it's ready for you to move in. And, you know, we expect, you know, boxes and moving people to come into the house. You guys to set up your house and... Uh, um, you know, and then you'll probably need to do a fine clean after you get everything moved in. Of course, the houses are going to come double primed, ready for your finished painter. And so, you know, if you do have that uh, professional painting company come in and paint the walls, you are, uh, you know, you're, you're typically going to have them, um, excuse me, you know, you typically, they would have uh, drop cloths and things like that. And so that might create some, some dust and debris. Usually, uh, you know, those finished painters are going to sweep up after themselves and vacuum up after themselves as well. But, um, you know, you're, you're typically going to want to come in behind them and do a fine clean after they're done. Now, um, another thing to keep in mind, you know, when, uh, if you, you know, uh, the basement floor, a newly poured concrete basement floor, a lot of times is going to be a little chalky. And so if you're up and down, up and down from the basement, um, you know, you might have some dust on your feet and you may want to have, um, you know, a mat to, to put some basement shoes on going down there until you finish that space. I know some customers have um, talked about, you know, the benefit of epoxying the floor, you know, for an unfinished basement or even just painting the floor to seal in, you know, any, um, you know, any dust from uh, from your basement concrete floor so hopefully that helps i uh you know expectations and having clear communication um, through the process uh, for a homeowner so what you can expect when you move in is is important for us that's why we put these videos out we want to have as much clear information out there for people to um uh, not to have any uh, hurt feelings or any misunderstandings in terms of what they're going to get when they move into their house. And so hopefully this helps clarify some of that. Any questions whatsoever, reach out anytime and we'll, uh, we'll do our best to answer in a timely manner. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day.